No, I don't. I don't know what sustainable food are. Is there sustainable food on campus? I didn't think there was. Uh, I don't even know what it is. Uh, producing food uh, in a manner that is uh, economic, that is mindful of the environment in uh, not just the short term but in the long term, and um, and makes uh, best use of of our resources. Um, you know, those are a few of the things that I would I would associate with sustainable agriculture. Well, I think it's it's important in the long term for our survival. Um, uh, you know, we need to manage those resources which ultimately are, are limited. Um, we need to manage those in, a, in an intelligent manner. Um, I think it's important if we're considering the impact of the human race on, you know, the rest of the natural planet, uh, be it uh, other uh, animals, plants, and even, you know, just the, the earth itself. Like our field the environmental uh, horticulture field is, uh, is uh, much more involved now with food uh, and food issues because of the, uh, the desire to bring food production closer to home, make it more local, and thus uh, more sustainable. Sustainable food systems are food systems that start with a farmer, the food then gets packaged and distributed to usually restaurants or some kind of retailer. The foods then get consumed by consumers. They hopefully will then turn into some kind of compost and return all the way back to the farmer. So it makes a complete cycle of uh, food starting with the farmer, ending with the farmer. Sustainable food systems are going to help overall the economy, the local economy especially with local farmers. It will also help the environment and protect water sources, protect the land, and also wildlife. Uh, I think the more that people are concerned about sustainable food, the better it is going to be for all, uh, us all as far as sustaining food systems, as far as cleaning up the environment, and as far as having a healthy food source. Every link in the process of producing and distributing food and doing it in an environmentally sound and safe way uh, and providing uh, access to it for, for everyone. So creating healthy options, um, not only for the consumers, but also for people who uh, produce the food and distribute it. Well, we read In Defense of Food by Michael Pollan, and we talk about, uh, in, in that book, he gives several tips, about 24 tips on how to eat better and how to make better choices, not, again, not just for the individual, but also for the community. So we talk about whether or not those tips are practical, and it really allows students to connect their personal lives to these tips and these um, pieces of advice. Many students don't think they're practical because um, they don't know that they have access uh, and that it's within their reach. I think that City College does some really amazing things and we live in a time and in a city that offers so much information from so many different perspectives. So I think it's really exciting to think about um, the school getting involved in this movement, this, this, the food movement. Poster, like small posters or something, just to educate people a little bit. While they're standing there getting their forks and knives, just little things. The, the culinary department, cafeteria, and they have good food there and they usually have like a good side vegetable. Sustainable foods are the future of the earth, you know. 